Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, I'm Jordan from Artisan Electrics and thank you for watching. So, as always, I've got some interesting jobs to show you and today I'm talking about electric vehicle charging points again. I've got some recent installations to show you that I've been busy with and also a special electric vehicle charging point course that I went on for one particular manufacturer that you're going to love, I think. These are not your average electric vehicle charging points. They're really, really special. So I want to show you a little glimpse of this particular company, their charging points and a little day trip that I took into London to learn all about their products. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, hit a like and subscribe to the channel because I post videos every week here and tap that notification bell if you haven't done so already because then you'll get notified every time a new video comes out. Thanks for watching and enjoy the video. So I'm gonna place the electric vehicle charging point here and then I'm gonna be running the cable along the wall here, down, drilling through under this floor into the understairs cupboard under the floorboards here and then up into the consumer unit here and i've got a spare way that i can fit a new circuit breaker in as you can see it's a bit tight under here and uh, the underfloor is a bit of a mess too so it's going to be fun trying to fish the cable under there but i'm sure that with my super rod mega set and a good drill bit i should manage it nicely it's an old Victorian house and there's all sorts of junk under the floorboards. It's amazing what you find under floorboards. So here is my CK arm slice tool in action. Check the link in the description if you want to see one for yourself. So here we've got the Type A RCD built into the Rolex charging unit. Here's the contactor that activates um, by this Mode 3 controller. And here's a special little device, it's a DC residual current monitoring module, which basically measures any residual current uh, leakage on the DC side to make sure that you're not getting any DC feedback issues. So this is an M2 consumer unit, which is made by CEF, I believe. And I'm gonna take the armored cable down here, clip to the wood, as you can see, and then run it under the floor. And here it is coming up into the electric vehicle charging point, terminated into the top of the RCBO there. And here's my earth stake. So I had to put in an earth stake for this one as it's a TNCS system. And there we go charge point mounted on the wall, tethered, plugged into the vehicle and ready to go. This is the other job that I did and I had to do some measuring here because there were some issues with the amount of load that was on the system. Good morning guys, welcome back to the channel. Jordan here from Artisan Electrics and today is an interesting day because I'm off to London. I'm going to be doing an electric vehicle charging course, um, specifically for Anderson EV charging points. Uh, they're a new brand of charger that are real high-end luxury points and I'm um, going to be learning how to install those. So here I am on the train and yeah, so what was I saying? So I'm going to right near the centre of London, Whitechapel area to the London headquarters of a company called Anderson EV and they are a new brand of electric vehicle charging point that focus on real high-end uh, luxury sort of installations 
They're really nice looking charging points. And they're, they're available in all different finishes, different designs, different colors, different natural wood finishes. And they're really designed for beautiful houses where somebody doesn't want an ugly green or white or black charging point smacked on the front of their house. They want something a little bit nicer looking that fits in with the decor and the style of the house. So I'm gonna go and see what they're all about today. Got a six hour chat, uh, training session over there and uh, I'm gonna let you know how I get on. So here I am in the big smoke, London. Behind me is a uh, huge, impressive looking building. And here behind me is number two Lehman Street, which is the Anderson EV Training Center. See if we can see how huge this building is. So yeah, I've just arrived, had a little bit of train issue because I got on the wrong train. Believe it or not, there are two trains that leave Cambridge for London, Liverpool Street. One at 7.17 and one four minutes later at 7.21. And it seems I got on the wrong one, which had to stop at every single station on the way. So yeah, I just got here in the nick of time anyway. But uh, hopefully it's gonna be an interesting day. I'll let you guys know how I get on. This is a really funky building, as you can see. It's pretty cool. Just waiting for one of six lifts. They've got Bose speakers in the toilets. so unfortunately I couldn't get much footage actually during the training session um, because of privacy issues and stuff like that so I wasn't able to get much video footage of the products but Anderson have given me some of their stock footage um, stock photos that they're happy for me to use to show off their products in this video um, they're not paying me to do this or anything I just think they're amazing products and I'm gonna be installing a lot of them for my customers coming up soon so I'm probably going to share this video with them. The Anderson A2, first of all, is a tethered unit. The cable is cleverly hidden within the casing of the charging point. So unlike other tethered units where the cable is actually sort of slung around the charging point, uh, or wrapped around it in some way, the Anderson actually holds the cable within the casing of the charging point so when you look at the charging point you can't see the tethered cable there's a little flap at the top that you just lift up you pull out the plug unwind the cable plug it into your vehicle and then you just wind it back up at the end and hide the plug within the casing of the Anderson so the A2 unit is really smart and it's mainly designed for domestic situations people's houses where they don't want to have an ugly box on the side of their house they want to have something that looks good designer that just blends in nicely with the decor of the house so that's the A2 and then there's the P1 which is more designed for parking type situations maybe businesses hotels restaurants those kind of things where they're looking for an attractive looking uh, discreet electric vehicle charging point bollard type uh, system that they can put in their car park area and they're really nice they come as 7 kilowatt or 22 kilowatt single or dual chargers uh, they're not tethered, they've just got a socket in the top, they've got a little flap that just levers down. The flap can be um, locked magnetically, I believe. And also, there is a little light that actually lights the thing up, so you've got sort of a subtle glow at night, which makes it look really nice as well. So, check out these photos of the Anderson P1, 
Let me know in the comments what you think. That was it. This huge building is being constructed, as you can see behind me. And this is where I've just been, we work. Old Gate Tower. Right outside the Old Gate East Chief Station. It's good training, very amazing products. So I'm looking forward to installing them. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Certainly some interesting things to look at and the electric vehicle charging industry is really on the move at the moment. There's so many great opportunities out there for electrical contractors. Are you thinking about getting on the bandwagon? Let me know in the comments and let me know any more questions that you might have about electric vehicle charging. Because as I said in a previous video, I'm gonna be doing a Q&A soon all about the questions and the difficulties that contractors face when it comes to installing electric vehicle charging points, applying for the grant, filling out the paperwork, all that kind of thing. If you enjoyed this video and you haven't done so yet, tap that like button and subscribe to the channel for more great videos coming soon. And before you go, one more thing, I've set up a new channel because I know that a lot of you guys love tools and I've been making tool videos on this channel for quite a while, every so often. But what I wanted to do is just separate that out and create a dedicated channel called Tools for Sparks, which is all about tools, tools that I love, sharing with you new tools that I've got. So there'll be a button here, you can subscribe to that new channel and follow all the videos that are gonna be coming out regularly on there. And there's also an Instagram and Twitter account that you'll see linked here. So you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for all the latest news and tool updates for electricians and other avid craftsmen out there. As always guys, thanks so much for watching and have a great day.